Hello my dear students, once again I welcome you all to your history online class. Again in today's online class we will be proceeding with your 7th chapter from your international or contemporary history that is talking about World War II from the year of 1939 till 1945. So if you have seen the first part of the video there I have explained you regarding that what were exactly the aggressive policies taken by Germany under the leadership of Adolf Hitler when he mainly founded a new political party in Germany known as Nazi party and what were exactly the aggressive policies and little bit background about the First World War, League of Nations, Treaty of Versailles and so on. But in today's class we will mainly focus on two more countries who also took the same kind of aggressive policies similarly like Germany under Hitler. So those two countries talking about the Italy and Japan. So even Germany, Italy and Japan they actually founded a very good pact known as Rome Tokyo Berlin Axis Pact in the year of 1937 keeping all the three countries capital Berlin for Germany, Tokyo for Japan and Rome for Italy. So similarly we will talk first with the Italy that how Italy under the leadership of Benito Mussolini took lots of aggressive policies before the second world war and for those kinds of aggressive policies we see there was a rise there was outburst of the second world war in the year of 1939 from 1st of September. So talking about Benito Mussolini he also founded a fascist party whose main aim was to crush and keep their nations very high powerful going against all those kinds of countries especially talking about the UK, Great Britain, France and talking about the Russia and later even America joined in the second world war. What was the main intention of Italy to go with all those kinds of aggressive policy is that the year of 1915 the first world war took place from 1914 and it got ended in the year of 1918 but 14 a year later 1915 was the year when finally Great Britain made a agreement that is also known as a secret London treaty signed between England and this country called Italy that if Italy will remain away for the first world war from those kinds of triple alliance or triple anting later on after the end of first world war they would be given some kinds of parts of areas which would be very much helpful as well as developing areas for Italy country and that made Italy to stay neutral during the first world war but when after the end of first world war Italy did not got any such kind of result the promise that was been kept with the London secret treaty of 1915 that made Italy to get angry and just go with those kinds of aggressive policies against those kinds of countries who made them to stay as neutral but did not offer any such kind of promisement or with those kinds of fulfilling topics. First we see the aggressive policy of Italy talking about the Corfu incident which occurred in the year of 1923. So in the Corfu incident also we see that how mainly Italy country under Benito Mussolini took lots of hard steps making lots of programs as well as making lots of steps to go and capture those kinds of Corfu area during those nations and made a particular invasion. So that made Italy to go with the first. Second we talk about the acquisition of Fume in the year of 1924. Third we talk about the acquisition of Abyssinia, which at present is also known as Ethiopia nation also known as the African nation in 1935 that means those nations which were not so powerful but could have lots of raw materials or any of the parts which could really attract Italy those kinds of areas was been annexed that was been captured by Italy country and next we talk about the annexation of Albania in the year of 1939 so even Albania a nation was been annexed or it was been captured by Italy under the leadership of Benito Mussolini and the last topic we see that is known as Spanish Civil War. So Spanish Civil War mainly took place from the year of 1936 and it got ended in the year of 1939. So in the Spanish even in the previous class I told you regarding how what kind of Republican form government like Russia sorry Spain had and what kind of democratic nation they wanted to have. So due to those kinds of leaders and the government of Spain ultimately a civil war broke out also known as Spanish Civil War. So this was the topic for the Italy's taking a aggressive policy. But the next nation we talk that is known as Asian country talking about the Japan. So for the first time in the history of the world we talk 
a first nation to be adding or just took part in the war that was japan because if we talk about the first world war we don't find any of the asian countries who took part in the first world war only we talk about the european nation like france great britain germany italy bulgaria austria hungary and so many other only the european countries but in the second world war we see only japan stood as a first asian country to take part in the second world war joining a team with italy and germany after a pact was signed in the year of 1937 and the first we see that japan aggressive policy they were very much attracted towards their neighboring asian country known as china and china during those time had got lots of natural resources raw materials which was very much attracted to japan and it was japan who thought of invading or capturing those kinds of places which could really help japan in order to take those kinds of natural resources or any such kind of raw materials from china's provincial area and the first annexation done or capture done by japan was of manchuria from chinese province who we in the year of september 1931 attracting toward all those kind of natural resources and after 1931 after a couple of years in the year of 1933 again manchukuo so lots of provincial area of china was also affected or it was been captured by japan but when china informed to uh, writing a letter informed to the league of nation because during those time league of nation was already there now we are talking about the year of 1931 1933 league of nation was there whose main aim was to maintain peace security whose even aim was to make all the nation under one umbrella there should not be any such kind of future war etc but when the league of K- nation came to know about the japan invasion over manchuria manchukuo in respective years league of nation just warned japan but japan did not bother about league of nation and they also denied to be a part of league of nation so similarly even we talk about japan italy and germany they did not bother to be a part of league of nation they wanted to take revenge especially the germany they wanted to restore all the powers restore all the provinces which was been taken by those kind superpowers during the first world war after the treaty of versailles was made to sign to germany so this was overall the topic for today's class talking about the aggressive policies of japan as well as italy so hope you have understood till then god bless you and study well